we go. You pulled it out. There's the Nocturne. We were... <laughs> We're in darkness for game one, Dagda. This yeah. was obviously the script being leaked. Yeah, yeah. we didn't mean to. We we're supposed to go dip for this oh, one. All right. Dragon yeah. or rather moved and then reset. River's going to get grubs in top, and that should help him actually get level six off the next grub as well. So Cyclone will be up and available. On the opposite side, though, Odie has been put behind because he's been trying to cover as Aurora on the side lane. And oh, wait, tidal wave. mid. Flash away as well. River is now here. Cyclone going to be used. And is there a flash as well? Yes, indeed. They want to kill Kana. And after the early game, he's mitigated. First blood over the river. He dies to the Nautilus. A word of sky. No jungle item there as well. In fact, you look at the item differences. We get an all out in the bottom side versus Dominus, and someone might actually be in trouble. Cassante doing Cassante things as we look at the rest of the fight on the left side of your screen. The lights turn out, they turn back on, and there's a demon there. I'm looking at Quid here as he stays alive, but Odie can't clear out River. In the meantime, Sayo tries to get range. He will at least find this kill as a response. And at the end of the day, being up so. 100 Thieves, Oop. feel like they're trying to just pay off the heals from Ayla as well, good. Summit's in, well he finds only the clone. Rivers at the back of pit for the time being, his Cyclone not up and available it seems like as well. The culling is now there as Shockwave is only onto Sniper, but that's the front line. Look at the damage from Tomo, R7 have to leave. River is again fishing as Cyclone comes up in five seconds. Sniper Poke. almost dead, the tidal wave is there. Quit, pokes, prods, and now here's River to spin until he wins as Kane has jumped on and a hundred thieves knew their cooldowns so much better as Summit gets a kill onto Tomo. He flashes away. Aqua Prison kited as well. Quid's trying. He eventually kills the old top player of NA. It's a gold advantage after that fight. There is a three and zero Aurora. And R7 now have to deal with the fact that Tomo is also pretty damn strong. Dagdor as Dragon goes down in response. And R7 are going to get themselves Herald. It's first dragon for 100 Thieves, though. So it's R7. I actually kind of like this trade. You get top terror, you get, we get top end, someone gets boss. Uh, I don't think Sniper is running demolished, though. Could be wrong. So he's going to be a little out there, was, yeah. But he will Ooh. still be a little bit slower. So that cool. That it's like directed cam picture in picture. Ignore that. We got a picture of darkness pulling up and a shutdown. Quid is dead. And look, this monkey's by himself. What does he do? He tries to buy time, but why are we oh, teleporting? Sniper, no. Why are we teleporting? Sniper! He's trying to get on out. He altered. He slows, but Rainbow Seven will take that freebie every day of the week. Yeah, snipers are far more deadly the further away they are, and Sniper needed to stay as far away as possible from that bot side play. Why do we do it? Could they, they can crack an inhibitor turret here. They can do a lot, Dagda. They're going to get the debuff shortly with the Herald as well. Just wait for it. The crash comes through, and in a turret will drop down here thanks to Kana's conversion of AP to auto damage on turret. And R7 in a gold lead again. Quiddy buys some space, buys some time. Now with the paranoia on top as well, makes it a little bit harder. And Quid has used everything to escape. Another kill to Summit. And Aurora shouldn't be able to get it here though. Aurora potential River. TP. This could be a dive, but the waves thinned out. They're going to TP to save it for the time being. Just getting the turret is Plan One. A sniper takes a lot of damage with the culling, follows through, almost getting lines on the back. Shockwave. And the depth charge is big. The shockwave bigger. Summit wants to be the biggest. The croc flashes, cues in, heals up but finds no kill between worlds against Oats, but dead in an instant. Quid got obliterated. R7 want to chase this down. River tries to fake it, but he won't make it. Summit's hit back. Sniper runs back, and Kana runs in. R7 has been given back and forth a little bit, but he's still so relevant. As you said, Summit's lead is stuck with him, and he becomes even more relevant. He needs to be careful on this mid-terror. Being forced back ever so slowly. Summit is just waiting, and he was waiting for River. At least I'm going to walk on in. There we go. Oh, the submarine! Oddie finds backline access, but in the meanwhile, Quid's ulti keeps him in play. Sniper does the same, and that's a kill over to 100 Thieves. Summit runs in, at least helping out as the poke continues to rain down as Lion gets a hook on in, but they need to deal with the range. 100 Thieves got their damage available. It's Tomo, it's Quid, and Sayo can't be here. He gets knocked back. No dredge line. They are outplaying them, Dagda. They're doing 
doing it again. They thought they had it. They went for the play underneath the tower as soon as River moved away, but the burst was too much. The ultimate from Quid he kept keeps him in check. And now Summers needs to escape, but Quid is never going to let him get out He's of here. He's got a hex gate, so he has to slice and dice instead and shut down Dagda. Focus, and you can see Kane and Odie, they're sitting on the side, they want to find this Lucian. Submarine in, they're looking for the Cyclone, they're looking back line, they find a one-man shockwave, they destroy him! Tomo's down, but Odie's low, and Rivers come back to say go, 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 with a dredge line in, a dredge line out, Snow has nowhere to go, but Quinn is out and about! He flashes, he tries to get over the wall, he doesn't make the jump, and Summit is 1v them all! Sterex Gage is there. Ooh, the heel nerdy up for Ayla, oh my God. Sniper's gone. Yeah, he's gone deep, he's gone deep, because they found lines, he just Pulled out his dredge line. TP is going to come in, but Rainbow Seven are going to lose their support before the fight even starts. Tidal wave lines down, but Oddy shields and they look for the engage. There it is again. The yellow submarine quits down. Dacta, not a bad trade. No, but you still have to keep this going. The dragon going low. Back Summit wants in. The zone is there. Rainbow Seven want themselves this win. Keep themselves in the best of three in all possible merits here. Aqua Prison before Kana gets the kill onto Ayla. Sniper again looking for those magic. Second Dragon. That's all though. That was the fight for. And Or7 comes next year, but good on you. Good on you. River has found Oddie in a 1v1. He'll take those odds easy looking for a fear, but River gets out of range. In the end, he follows up, and he's just going to bonk him on the head. Dacta Wait needs a miracle shockwave. Think of Faker and do it. Dacta is getting low. Summer's on his way. He can be that setup wave to buy space. Quit oh, with the lockdown. Big, quit again. Between Worlds is even bigger. Kana gets zoned out. Seo gets zoned out. It's a Baron for a hundred. Seo it's just on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, he is. He's just trying to clear the wave off the back end, isn't he? He's 100 thieves, get that inner turret summit, now defends bot as Ribot sits by himself, but not too fearful for the time being. That clone going to be targeted. Here we go, shockwave into the back line yet again, but no kill! No kill! Odie almost found Tomo, but he zones out, he pulls back, he uses everything, and their one hit, wonder combo is down. And the terror will still fall as well. They can't step up to clear out the minion. And it's just barely fails. Again, barrier, huge, heal, use. Factor, TP from Summit. But the ultimates are up. Kana just hit level 16. Tomo! He's isolated, Tomo! isolated. Shockwave's there against the wall. He won't escape it this time. Shut down. River is a cyclone, but not for long. He's blown over. Quid tries to get on out, running with his legs as fast as they can take him. A sniper still thinks about it. Wait, wait, there's no way. The ulti burn Quid. jumps to the other side. Quid is running it. The flip back from sniper though, as TP's in, 100 Thieves are doing it again. Dagda, it's a game of catch and ball. Who's throwing next? I don't know what's happening. We were a little bit earlier. Maybe you can make Quid. a play, but I don't think Quid meant to hit that wall. I don't think I think it could. was a misclick. There's well, like... The frontline engage has taken some damage, but it's nothing for now. River has found himself summit, but that also equals nothing. Summit got the wave, though. That's all he wanted. There's nowhere to play with. Into the back line again. They're onto the Nami. The shockwave gets a kill. Ayla is down. No healing. A stretch line behind a wall. Can't get Sniper. But the ulti again from Quid locks him in place. Gives him a Cyclone and Aurora shows her place. Kana gets the jungler though. In the back line, the depth charge is there. Lions tries to find an angle, but Summit's in again. The crocodile runs in. Can't get the kill. Wait, Sayo. Sayo jumps forward, but he can't be punished yet. But now they're dealing with top wave. It's pushing in, but they're like, no, nah, forget it. Baron's going to go down, and the LLA is fighting Thing for R7. Summit trying to find a flank opportunity on Odie the side. Again into the back line. Shockwave hits two. It does find an actually good on to quit this time. Kallik at max range tries to find the mark. Two, but 100 Thieves, I think they're out of gas. Summit runs through, takes a true shot for Arts of the Monkeys, and LLA, they've done it, man. Tooth and nail wasn't enough of an expression. They are taking it to North America. They are walking down the minions. They have the Nexus in their sights. It is a lonely Nami versus the entirety of Latin America. And there's no way you can hold them back. This has been back and forth throughout the ringer. But this game, it won't be thrown at Baron. This game, the LLA will take us to a game three in our opener between R7 and 100 Thieves. We again get cinema at Worlds. That combo.